Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my dear students? Today, inshallah, in our flip learning session, we are going to talk about similarities and differences. So, what is our learning objective and success criteria? You should be able at the end of this class to recognize how humans are similar to and also different from one another. We are similar or alike each other, but we are also different in certain ways. Allah created us similar, but also we are different. Let us take this example. We have two kids here. In what ways they are similar? In what ways they are the same? In what ways they are alike? Number one, they are humans. They are both humans. Is any one of them a plant? A cat? Okay, no. They are humans. Number two, they have the same body parts. One head, not two heads, two hands, not eight hands. It's not a spider, right? Okay, good. So here we can see that there are some simil similarities between these two kids. They are similar in one, they are humans. Two, they have the same body parts. But in what ways they are different? Look at the two kids and think in what way they are different. Number one, he is a boy, she is a girl. The first differences between these two kids is he is a boy, she is a girl. It's true that they are both humans, but he is a boy and she is a girl. Okay, number two. He has white milky skin, she has brown chocolate skin. They both have skin, but different colors. Number three, he has short straight hair, she has longer curly hair. They are two, they are both of them beautiful, but they are different in their ways. They are similar in what one, humans, two, have the same body parts, but they are different in he is a boy, she is a girl. He has white skin, she has brown skin. He has short straight hair, she has longer curly hair. Let us now look at these two girls. Do they look different or similar? Yes, they look similar to each other. They are twins, May and Faye. They are very, very similar to each other. But they are also different in their ways. It's very difficult to say who is May and who is Faye. But in their behave, we know who is May and who is Faye. Let us see in what ways they are different. When we look at May, we can see that she is holding painting brushes, colors, right? Okay. And when we look at Faye, she's not holding anything, but she's doing some movements. Okay. The first difference between them, that May is quiet. She is so quiet. But when look at Faye, mashallah, Faye is active. We can see that she's not standing quietly. No, she's doing some movements. She is active. Number two, May likes to draw. As I said at the beginning, she's holding her colors and 
uh, the paint and paintbrush. But with Faye, she likes to dance. So do we see here the similarities and differences between these two girls? They are very similar in their shape, their face. So it's very difficult to say who is May and Faye, but we can see the differences in their behave and the things that they like. Okay, so we are all humans, but we are different in certain ways. We look different in the way we behave. So we may look different in the way we look. For example, I have black hair, she has yellow hair, I have brown skin, she has white skin, okay? I like to, I like to play football, she likes swimming more. So we are different in the things that we like, in the way that we look and behave. And as we say, we like also different things. But at the end, we must all be friends. Because being similar means we understand each other better. So if you find somebody that is so similar to you, you will be understanding each other better. But also being different makes the world more interesting. There will be so many different things in the world. Not only one thing that you all like it, it will be so boring, right? Yes, so being different makes the world more interesting. So we must all be friends, even if we are different. What is your task for today? I want you to draw yourself and draw your friend. Record yourself explaining in what ways you and your friend are similar and also different. Hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.